can't be demanding that President William Ruto opens servers that were opened by the Supreme Court and you verified the results of that electoral process. That is the height of hypocrisy. You cannot be telling us, like the former Prime Minister was telling us yesterday, I saw him lecturing us on how democracy should precede development. And I agree with him. Democracy precedes development. But it is also true that for us to bring down the cost of living that you are asking us to do, there must be development. And development cannot be there if you become disruptive to our economy and destroy the economy that will be creating a means of earning livelihood for the people of Kenya to be able to bear the cost of living. And I heard him yesterday lecture our international partners and development partners saying that they are quiet as their demonstrations are disrupted apparently but we want to tell Mr. Odinga the international community is not quiet they are watching you as you slide our country into anarchy the international criminal court equally is watching you as you slide our nation into anarchy and since I heard you lecture our international development partners on the tenets of democracy let me also educate you the tenets of democracy anarchy is not one of the tenets of democracy and you cannot be inciting the country into anarchy and lecturing the world about democracy one of the chief tenets of democracy is the adherence to the rule of law constitutionalism and law and order if you demand respect as a former prime minister respect those who have been elected by the people of kenya to govern our country and allow peace to prevail anarchy will only take you to icc nanilisikia sababu siku hizi wewe na uhuru hamtaki kuona nikiongea na nitaongea ama ninyamaze niwaambie nisiwaambie Najua nilisikia jana akisema sio alitaka kuniua. Wewe miaka yako yeye mwenye imebaki hakuna mtu anaweza kuua. Tumekuachia Mungu. Na tumwambie Raila nobody is interested in your life. You are destroying your own life wewe mzee. William Ruto Rigathi Gashagwa, Musalia Mudavadi, Wetangula, Kemani Ishongwa na wale wengine una shida ukitaja taja ati tuna haja na maisha yako hatuna haja na maisha yako tuna haja na maisha ya wakenya wenye unaua kwa maandamano vijana wenye wamekufa kisumu watoto wa wenyewe na wewe Raila huwezi hata tembelea hizo mafamilia lakini una nguvu una uwezo wa kwenda kumtembelea shamba la uhuru Kenyatta kuangalia miti iliyokatwa na kondoo kondoo na miti ndio ziko na maana kuliko maisha ya wananchi kweli Tumwambie tusimwambie. Wewe Raila elewa vizuri maisha ya kondoo ni muhimu. Miti ni muhimu. Lakini maisha ya watoto ya wenyewe wenye unaelekeza wakafe ndio muhimu zaidi. Mali ya familia ya Kenyatta ni muhimu. Kama mali ya vijana na wamama ambao umebomolea maduka zao Kisumu kama mali ya wale watu wa embakasi na najua wewe Raila you are targeting specifically Kikuyu owned enterprises in the city of Nairobi because we did not vote for you we want to tell you as the people of Mount Kenya we do not owe you anything Mr Raila Odinga if you want to look for anybody who owes you anything look for Uhuru Kenyatta he is the one who promised you votes sisi tulijaribu kukushauri tukiwa na rigavi na wale wengine tukakwambia Mount Kenya huwezi pata kura kwa hivyo usitupanish na kubomoa biashara za watu wa mlima Kenya 
eti sababu tulikataa kukupea kura heshimu mali ya watu wengine vile yako inavyoheshimiwa nilisikia madha karua akisema ati anapeleka sijui IG kotini sababu gari yake iligongwa kwa maandamano sasa nikauliza wewe ni gari wale wameuawa wewe madha karua three women who were raped by your goons in madhare watapeleka nani kotini kama sio wewe na Raila and i want to declare today Raila your excellency don't treat Raila Odinga with kid gloves asipembelezwe ako na bahati ni wewe naibu wa rais na rais muko kwa uongozi kama ingekuwa mimi huyo mtu angeona huyo mtu ati ubomoe biashara za watu uende ukapore mpaka maiti unatoa maiti kwa sanduku unatupa nje uibe sanduku la maiti unabomoa biashara za watu Nairobi and Raila Odinga we respected you as a father of democracy in this country but you have since transitioned from a fighter for democracy to a hired goon you are 